Hello everyone and welcome back to Popcorn in Bed where I watch movies in my bed. Usually sans popcorn, but sometimes popcorn. Tonight we've got another scary but not so scary movie for October and I'm watching An American Werewolf in London. What is October and Halloween month without some werewolves? I am going into this completely blind. I have no idea what it's about. I have no idea who's in it. I have no idea if it's good or if I'm gonna like it. I did hear that this may up my gore level a little bit. So I usually don't have a problem. Well, no, I do. I have a hard time with gore. I think I've seen quite a lot of it now on the channel, so maybe I will be a little more used to it. Right now we have a super fun bracket going on here on YouTube with all the runners up from the brackets we've done on Patreon. I'm gonna watch the winners from four categories, suspense, sci-fi, classics, and sports movies. I'm super excited. Make sure you go and vote on that for your favorites. And if you want to check out more polls, full-length reactions, early access, blah, 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 here's Patreon. Always so supportive and helpful and nice if you can do that, but if not, a like and subscribe is also so helpful. Okay, let's get started. This is like prom music, not werewolf music. Do 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 do. Why is this making me sleepy? Hitchhiking with some sheep could be worse. Peace, Proctor. We're all about here at Moors. Thanks for the ride, sir. You have lovely sheep. Boys, keep off the moors. Stick to the roads. The best of luck. Bye, girls. I don't recognize either of these actors. You're not having a good time, are you? I mean, look around. Isn't this a fun place? Northern England first. Italy later. Right. You think you'll meet me in Rome? I think Debbie Klein's a mediocre person with a good body. Oh, well, okay. I have to make love to her. It's really very simple. We've known Debbie, what, since the 8th grade? How many years of foreplay is that? <laughs> she worried about Debbie Klein for anyway. Where are they going? Where are they putting girls on this trip? Knock, knock. Who's there? Who? <laughs> don't, don't you get it? Yeah, try not. Alright, say knock, knock. Knock, knock. Who's there? Who? No. Yeah. <laughs> I don't get it. Do they have a plan? A map, perhaps? I'm just gonna go knock on the door, but... Can we stay in your house? The slaughtered lamb. Yeah, that's kind of strange. What kind of ad is that for a pub? Yeah. Know. Would you rather the hill? Whatever happens, it's, it's your fault. fault. Right. All right. <laughs> Such a classic walk into Hello. a bar scene. It's uh, very cold outside. May we come in? I take it they don't get many out of towners. Do you have any hot soup? No. Do you have any coffee then? No. We've spirit some beers. If it's something hot you want, you can have tea. Then you have tea? No. Oh. But I can make some for you. Oh, yes, please. Look at that. It's a five-pointed star. Well, maybe the owners are from Texas. <laughs> remember the Alamo. He was just joking. I remember the Alamo. That film with John Wayne. Their banter does, like, their friendship banter seems very natural and real. Did you the one about the rushing? Ah! It's a pentangle. Universal Studios maintain that's the mark of the wolf man. Okay, you want me to ask them if they're burning candles to ward off monsters? There was this aeroplane over the Atlantic. I need some subtitles. Well, halfway over the ocean, the engines run low on petrol. They have to lighten the plane. This froggy steps up, shouts, Vive la France! And leaps out, said an Englishman! God save the Queen! And he leaps out, the Yank delegate from Texas, remember the Alamo! And jokes out the Mexican! <laughs> <laughs> Uh oh. You made me miss. I've never missed that board before. Uh, Jack, we better go. How much do we owe you? Nothing, lads. Put me with you. Where are they oh. gonna go? 
You just can't let them go. Stay on the road. Keep clear to the moors. Beware the moon, lads. Beware the moon, lads? Where the hell are we going? Anywhere. I just want to get away from the slaughtered wind. We didn't fucking play. I was, man. The boy that can play darts. You can't let them go. Why? Should the world know our business? It's murder, then. Then murder it is. <gasps> it's in God's hands now. They know for sure they're gonna get murdered right now? Maybe that pentangle was for something supernatural. And they were too embarrassed to talk about it because they just felt so silly. Please, oh. don't rain. Oh, of course. Oh. So I'm well aware of how pleasant the weather is in Rome. Stay on the roads. They do not seem stressed enough about their situation. <laughs> I could not travel like that. No one brought them here. No one wanted them here. You could have told them. They'd think it's mad. So, they all know? I heard nothing. Not I. Why don't you just let them stay and drink their tea? A coyote. There aren't any coyotes in England. The Hound of the Baskervilles. True? It's a full moon. Beware the moon and stick to the road. Oops. Get on the road! I vote we go back to the slaughtered land. Yeah. <laughs> The road. Find the road, guys. <gasps> Please, no. It's moving. It's circling us. What's the plan? Plan? Do you guys have a weapon in your backpacks? It's a sheepdog or something. Nice doggy. Where are we going? I don't know. I'll tell you when we get there. Okay. Oh! 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 <gasps> you really scared me. You couldn't help me up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> To a man? Oh my gosh. Jack. Jack's, Jack's dead, right? Mr. Kessler? Please tell me he's not gonna turn into a werewolf. What exactly did he call that? Jack. The boy who was killed. What happened to them? The police report said they were attacked by an escaped lunatic. Attacked by a lunatic. <gasps> Is the wolf man dead now? David, I'd like you to prepare yourself. Your friend is dead. Oh. I'm Mr. Collins of the American Embassy. Everything's in order. What's going on here? Where's Jack? Get, get your hands off me. Mr. Kessler, oh. I appreciate how, how upset you are, but, but this is... Oh. I should come back and check on your progress and send a report to your parents. Is that quite a shock? These dumbass kids, they never appreciate anything you do for them. How long have I been here? Since you were brought in three weeks ago. Three weeks ago? Three weeks? A lunatic must have been a very fierce fellow. Wasn't well, a lunatic. It's an animal. A wolf. Did he say a wolf? Yes, he did. I'm sure I can survive another excruciating evening with Roger Matheson. <laughs> I thought this was going to be more recent. Some tea. I'd like some tea, please. Uh, maybe not. No, thanks. Maybe later. Well, then, what can I do for Scotland Yard? Roger Matheson, Doctor. Tell him I've passed away. Uh, an old war wound. <laughs> Look at this guy's poor tie. <laughs> that is mustache. I'm sorry if I conflict with your report. You may have a point, sir. Are you suggesting that the official Domavist Proctor has conspired to keep it a secret? We have an autopsy report on the murder. We have two witnesses. I consider your testimony coming from someone who's gone through a terrible shock. The boy seems all right to me and can what, sir? They don't seem like they're on great terms. David, as far as we're concerned, the matter is now closed. Doctor, my memory is fine. It's my sanity I'm beginning to worry about. So do the people of the... What? But he's... But he's... <gasps> okay... Not sure about that. He was dreaming that? I can't remember if I finished my thought before someone started eating a deer, but to the people of the painting, oh, not the painting pony, the slaughtered lamb, know that he's going to be a werewolf now? You haven't eaten your lunch. Well, I'm not very hungry. Thank you. Does he not have an appetite for real food? Shall I be forced to feed you, David? 
Do I see sparks here? Ah, oh. She's literally feeding him. And he says, <laughs> Get a good look at the man who attacked you. Jack was torn apart. A man can't do that to someone with his bare hands. You'd be surprised what horrors a man is capable of. He likes her. You're a very beautiful girl. Shall I read to you? Yeah, okay. A Connecticut Yankee at King Arthur's Court by Samuel L. Clemens. She does have a soothing voice. Our puppetry is an art form. You call that violence art? <laughs> Is he home or is this a flashback? All right already. Another dream. Mom. I hate this. I've just had a nightmare. Not to worry, I've just the thing. Sleep again. Oh. What does him becoming a werewolf have anything to do with monsters with machines? I have a piece of toast. I can't take this. David! Gosh, look at him. You're hurting my feelings. Has it occurred to you that it might be unsettling to see you rise from the grave to visit me? Sorry to be <gasps> upsetting you, David. <laughs> Debbie Klein cried a lot. You know what she does? Oh my gosh. She's so grief His face looks insane. She runs to find solace in Mark Levine's bed. Life mocks me even in death. I'm going completely crazy. David! What? I'm really sorry to be upsetting you. Oh! But I have to warn you. We were attacked by a werewolf, by a lycanthrope, and now I walk the a earth lycanthrope? in limbo until the werewolf's curse is lifted. The last remaining werewolf must be destroyed. Werewolf? It's you, David. No! How did they do that? Take your life, David. <gasps> kill yourself before you kill others. This isn't real. He's dreaming again, right? Beware the moon, David. <laughs> David, what's wrong? <gasps> oh. I'm a werewolf. A werewolf? What? Are you all right now? Why does he seem happy about I don't about know. That? I'll let you know the next full moon. My friend Jack was just here. Oh, boy. I will become a monster in two days. Two days already? Oh yeah, it was three weeks. Do you have somewhere to stay in London? <gasps> Remember, I'm just oh, a walking no. girl. Do you live by yourself? Yes. Are they holding hands? No. Good. Oh boy. No, but I don't want him to hurt her. <laughs> I like how they're not even moving. Just <laughs> locked. Uh oh. Are the people of the slaughtered lamb gonna warn him? I guess that's what Jack did. But that couldn't have been real. Or could it have been? This is the uh, living room. Oh. The kitchen. Very nice. The bathroom. Lovely. Lovely. The bedroom. This always happens. There's when only people one show bed. Someone else the bedroom. I'm not in the habit of bringing home stray young American men. Well, I should hope not. I find you very attractive and a little bit sad. Go on. I've had seven lovers in my life. Oh. Three just... of which were one night stands. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Perhaps you'd like to watch telly whilst I take a shower. Oh no. Hopefully this doesn't like set off his wolfness. Maybe he's dreaming right now. Oh, I think it's real. This has got to breach some patient caretaker contract. I guess he's not a patient anymore. This is quite the scene. Do to do. It's too good to be true, isn't it? He looks so terrifying. He's looking a lot worse. Hi, David! Put that down. Tomorrow night's the full moon. Oh my gosh. You're gonna change. 
You gotta kill yourself, David. Before it's too late. Are you really dead, Jack? What do you think? Look at him. I think I've lost my mind. You're just another part of a bad dream. You kill and make others like me. I'm not having a nice time here. So, if he kills other people, bites them, but doesn't leave them dead, then they become werewolves? Do I seem crazy to you? I just saw Jack again. He said that tomorrow I'll turn into a monster. Do you believe him? Do you believe me? I believe that you're very upset and that somehow you blame yourself for his death. I mean, he did sprint the other way. Did Granted, you ever see there was the nothing he could have done. The old one. Mm -mm, I, don't, I don't think so. The surreal movie he's referencing? I think that a werewolf can only be killed by someone who loves him. I'm torn between feeling very sorry for you and finding you terribly attractive. <sighs> It's always a dangerous combination. Oh, I don't know about this. I don't know. I don't know. I'm very worried. A drink for a very cold man. A small Guinness will suffice. Nasty business with those two young American boys, wasn't it? I don't know what you mean, sir. Last full moon, wasn't it? What do these people know? And why would they live here? No one's there. It's been there for 200 years. We were going to paint it out, but... Um, it's traditional, so we left it. They are hiding secrets in this town. You're a police officer? No, I'm a doctor. I work in the hospital where they brought the Kessler boy. He was talking about werewolves. Monsters. Werewolves. We give my mom such a hard time for saying werewolf. But they're saying it. What do you say? I say werewolf. You're off now. I just want to check on the dogs. Dogs are fine. They're all being very suspicious. It's a long drive to London. Do you have anything to eat? There's no food here. There's nothing for you here, sir. They're very not nice outsiders. I'll be on my way, then. He wants to talk. There's something wrong with this place. It's almost full moon. He'll change. He'll change. He'll... Let me know! Why can't they tell? If you get too anxious, call me at the hospital, OK? OK. I'm off. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> the dog can sense it. That's not actually that abnormal for a cat, I feel like. Let me guess. Jack again. Snarl. <laughs> a part of him knows it's true. As long as he doesn't hurt his nurse girlfriend. Crazy girl asked me to meet her guy before she married him. In the news of the world tomorrow. What does this have to do with anything? They got some fun songs in this movie, though. He doesn't want to go see the sights of London? I'm not hungry. Yeah, has he eaten anything? He's very bored. Before the world of phones, hey? You can't just sit there and bum around on your phone. Probably for the best. <sighs> I'm getting anxious for him! His boredness! How are we feeling tonight? Mom! Have you ever been severely beaten about the face and neck? Mom! Sweet tears. Mom! No! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh! <gasps> oh! I don't want to see this. <gasps> oh my gosh, this is disturbing. How did they do this? How did they make this look like this? This song is not good anymore. This looks very painful and very scary. Oh my gosh, what if she walks in? It doesn't look like him anymore. Oh my gosh. <sighs> oh. So just one night he's like this and then he turns back to normal, but then every time there's a full moon, that's the, the thing of werewolves, right? It doesn't look like nice twilight werewolves, so. Why? They keep showing us scared. <laughs> Oh, no. What are you doing? Hey, did you hear 
something. There's something going on out there. Not again, not again, not again, not again. Please don't still be there. Haven't you had enough? Loud noises, scary, happening. Oh. oh, he's killed. I went to the pub in East Proctor today. The whole community is hiding the truth of what actually happened up there. But would Scotland Yard be hiding the truth too then? If all the villagers believe that Jack Goodman was killed by a werewolf, why shouldn't David? Wouldn't he himself become a werewolf at the next full moon? Oh, I don't mean running about on all fours and howling at the moon. He might harm himself, or perhaps other people. He is running on all fours, howling at the moon. Oh, it's in Snapchat. I do really want to go to London. Prepare myself. Who's there? Prepare myself. Mary, mother of God. <laughs> Those eyes! So much for staying on the roads. He's in the subway tunnel. There's someone there. I can assure you that this is not the least bit amusing. Prepare for a loud noise. The yellow eyes. Why is this so dead? <laughs> I don't want David to die. I don't want people to shoot him, but he's killing innocent people. It's a lion. Oh, okay. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I wonder if he can remember. Oh my gosh, what would he do? He's naked in a zoo. Well, that would be concerning. Excuse me. <laughs> She's just unfazed. Little boy with the balloons. Oh, naked guy talking to a little boy. If you come over here, I'll give you a pound. Two pounds. Thank you. He didn't feel this two pounds. A naked American man stole my balloon. What? <laughs> what? It wouldn't be in the newspaper that quick, would it? Okay, what? So now what? There's gotta be a better ending than him killing himself. <laughs> a lot of weather we've been having lately. How is he gonna explain this? What did I do last night? You don't remember? I started to read, and then I woke up naked at the zoo. The zoo? The zoo! Is David behaving strangely? He's not really. Uh, he's rather enthusiastic. I want you to bring David here straight away. I yes. want him in my care. This guy's better than the police. Dr. Harris will know what to do. Oh, why I feel so good. I haven't felt this good in a long time. Let's go back to your place for a quickie. At least. Okay. Later. <laughs> good morning. He's like on an adrenaline rush from killing people. Put you in mind of the days of the old demon Barbara Fleet Street, the murders. What murders? Six of them. All in different parts of the city, all mutilated. David! Does he remember? I'm going the police! David! Officer! I killed those people last night. Come on, David. Let's... Come on, I want you to arrest me. Queen Elizabeth is a man! Prince Charles oh. is a faggot! Winston Churchill is full of shit! Shakespeare's prince! All right, it's quite enough. Come on, about your business. Okay. Oh my gosh. You're not gonna arrest me? There's nothing to say. Come on, move along. It's hopeless. Come on. Jack was real. He tried to warn me. I thought I was crazy. David! I love you. What? I'm not safe to be with. You gotta stay away from me. I love you, Alex. Go chain yourself up or something. Hello, Rachel. Just say yes, you'll accept the charges. Yeah, is mom or dad at home? <gasps> well, where are they? Mom and dad would never leave me alone when I was 10. I'm still in London. Tell mom and dad that I love them, okay? Oh. And I love Max and I, and I love you too. You be a good girl do? though. He's not gonna go kill himself. Yeah, I he? love you. Goodbye. 
one taxi driver says it? I mean, he did do it, but shouldn't he do some research to make sure it was him? Oh, Jack. That is just so terrifying. Is this all done with like makeup and prosthetics and stuff? You look awful. Thank you. His whole face. I want you to meet some people. That's concerning. You've left my wife a widow, and my children fatherless. And I understand I am to walk the earth in limbo. You must die. Is that the only way? Hello. Hello. Elf, Ted, oh. and Joseph. From the junkyard. What shall I do? Suicide. I could hang myself. No, if you did it wrong, it could be painful. So what? Do you mind? The man's a friend of mine. A gun! Don't I need a silver bullet or something? Be serious, would you? Yes, you just put the gun to your forehead and pull the trigger. Oh my gosh. Oh boy. He's in a pickle. This is a weird movie. Sometimes its vibe is serious. Sometimes it's maybe being funny. Sometimes it's gross. Oh no. No. Run! Ew! Ew! Oh, and he just walks further in. <laughs> Why are they gathering? Run! Run for the monster! It's weird to see that no one has their phone out recording anything. There's a disturbance in Piccadilly Circus involving some sort of mad dog. Disturbance? Is an understatement. How does he go? They literally just saw him chomp someone's head off. Get away! Maybe she can turn him back with her love. Gonna kill her. They're going to kill you. She's known him for like a minute. Please let me help you. I don't think he's David. I anymore. love you, David. They had good aim. It's just over? He's dead? No closure? Are you kidding me? That was the weirdest ending ever! Maybe I was trying to take this one too seriously. First of all, very unsatisfying ending. Oh my gosh! We didn't even find out what was going on with the town and the slaughtered duck and whatever. So why didn't they give us closure of that? Like, what was the town hiding? Why did only they know about it? I didn't know what to laugh at in this movie. I feel like at times it was trying to be funny, but it felt weird to laugh at like his dead friend whose face is falling off telling him to kill himself. <sighs> I'm trying to picture myself in, in the 80s, which I didn't know they could show all that stuff in the 80s. The makeup and whatnot was incredible. Or he turned into a werewolf, like when his things came out of his nails, like, oh, made me sick. I just don't know that the story was as good as it needed to be with all that makeup. I guess I wanted to see more like um, torture of him as a werewolf in his mind and heart. I don't know. I've seen too much Vampire Diaries, I guess. I mean, the London scene in the city that part was was fun. I really liked their friendship at the beginning and 
the town had potential to be this big mystery, but I don't know. This movie did remind me of Teen Wolf that like I knew where to laugh, but it wasn't trying to be a horror. So I don't know, this was just a weird mix for me. Definitely not gonna make my top 10, but not gonna make my worst top 10 either. I was entertained, I feel spooky. I can appreciate the holes and faces and stuff. That's all I got. Thank you guys so much for watching along with me and I'll see you soon.